Hello and welcome to Bear Download at ChicagoTribune.com. I'm Rich Campbell along with Dan Veter. We are here in Mobile, Alabama at the Senior Bowl hanging out tonight at the media dinner of the USS Alabama Battleship. And we got a live studio audience. How there. about that? <laughs> Dan, you had a chance tonight to talk to Eastern Illinois quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, one of the, the fastest rising prospects in the draft, of course, you know, one of our hometown guys. Yeah. Dan, what did you what did you take away from your conversation with Obviously, him? Obviously, this is a kid from Rolling Meadows High School in Eastern Illinois University, and as you mentioned, his stock is rising. It's a, a football championship subdivision guy who's now suddenly catching the attention of a lot of people as he goes through this pre-draft process, was the MVP of the East-West Shrine game and basically jumped out of plane from the East-West Shrine game to take a late invitation to the Senior Bowl. So he's going through the ups and downs of this whole pre-draft process very quickly in the early stages, but there's a lot to be intrigued about with the kid. If you're yeah. looking for a quarterback, he's got a very quick release. Guys around here, the scouts love his accuracy. There's a lot of intangibles that he has. It's just going to be interesting to see him sort of weather this process. As we talked about, we're almost four months from draft night. Yeah. And so the buzz may be escalating here in mid-January, but there's a long way to go. Yeah, a long way to go. And, and I think with Garoppolo, the, the one knock is the arm strength, but you see a lot of uh, accuracy. He's made a lot of throws at Eastern Illinois, and, and because he's got the physical build, he's starting to get on some scouts' radar here now that he's on such a bigger stage. And like you said, how do you maintain that buzz and keep that ascent going all the way to the draft on May 8th? Yeah, and one of the things he said, obviously, he needs to work on some of his drops. You know, he's been used to running a spread. He's been in the shotgun primarily throughout his entire college career. So now comes the three steps, the five step, the seven step drops. That's one of the things they, they zeroed in on the first day of practice here. He's working with the Jacksonville Jaguars coaching staff, and it's a good experience for him to get that under his belt and see where it can take him. But obviously, a, a week that's very important and a stage that's very important for a kid like him. Yep, and we will be here uh, through Thursday uh, watching practice and trying to get to know these players a little bit. And of course, you know, a lot of people from the NFL are around, so it's a really exciting time. Yeah, and don't forget, you know, the Bears are down here as well, and, yep. and they're hunting for a defensive line coach and a linebackers coach. Still have two vacancies. Wouldn't be surprised if they find a guy or two here to, to, to bring to the staff. That's a big part of the Senior Bowl process. A lot of coaches looking for jobs. Those are out of work, and, and staff's really coming together. So we'll follow it all for you this week uh, at ChicagoTribune.com. Stay tuned to that. And for Dan Weeder, I'm Rich Campbell, and we'll see you next time.